Welcome back to Joe's Garage. In this episode, we're gonna finish the tail rotor to fan conversion. You can see that we've made some progress this week. I'd like to get you all caught up on what we've been doing, so we'll show you that. So here's a close-up of the yoke assembly with the castellated nuts installed. I spent a little time fiddling with the cotter pins to get them to look nice. And after we glued it up last week, I poured a little more glue in it and then I glued in the sides with the caulk gun and then painted it around the edges so it, it looks nice. So we'll have to trim that up a little bit. So I finished trimming it up and then I'm going to mount it on the fan motor. So I'm putting a little Loctite in the fan motor threads and then sticking the bolts down in. These bolts I found at my local big box store. I had to trim them a little bit. They were too long so I cut them off and then re-threaded the end with a tap and die set. And then get them started, get them cranked down good. I want this part to be real secure because there's a lot of, a lot of weight to this yoke and tail rotor assembly and I don't want it coming apart while it's spinning around. So once I got the bolts installed, I came back with a little touch-up paint just to hide the silver. I'm going to put a decorative plate over the top of this so it's not going to stick out too much. stainless steel screws to mount the decorative plate. The decorative plate actually came with the fan, but it was this funky chrome color, so I painted it, sanded it down and painted it red, and I thought it looked nice with some stainless steel screws on it, so I'm just looking for something that's the right size. Something that I have six of. So here I am trying to mount the blades and I had painted the, the full blades with a coat of primer and a coat of paint and so the, the clearance on this was really tight and I was trying not to, you know, break anything when I was putting it back together or beat up the blade too much. So I'm using a rubber hammer, I'm, I'm taking lots of little tiny taps, I'm tapping it in, I'm kind of pulling it in with a, a big screwdriver to try to get it lined up and, and get it in. As soon as I get one bolt in, then the rest of it will go easier. But it was. It was, it was pretty challenging to get this together without, without causing any damage to it. Now that I got one bolt in, the rest of it will go easier. So I can use the, the one bolt as a lever to pry the other one into place. And it, of course, fits right together because it came apart this way. So that was nice. Remember last week we talked about these nuts, the M12-150 is the special metric nuts that I ordered from England. We drilled holes in them in here and then I took the grinder and I ground across the side. We made castellated nuts out of them. This is one of the old nuts that came on the tail rotor originally. We made new castellated nuts from these stainless steel ones. So this week off camera what I wanted to do was I wanted to drill sideways through the nut like this so I could safety wire it. You can see here how the wire goes through it like that. 
and it turned out to be really challenging to do. I reviewed the video that we watched last, that we made last week, and you could see when I was holding the nut, and we were trying to even drill the straight holes with the channel locks, I wasn't holding it very still, and that became even a bigger problem when I was doing these. I only had to drill four holes, and I broke six drill bits. So I did go out and buy a new vise for the drill press, so I'm hoping that in the future when I need to do something fine like this, I'll be able to hold it more still. And I've done uh, a couple of test drills with it, and it seems like it's going to work out really well. So we're going to put this together. I'm going to um, put these on the tail rotor, and we'll show you how uh, we're going to safety wire. That'll be the next step. Here we are at the yoke assembly with the blade installed. This castellated nut that we made last week is installed with the cotter pins ready to go. I've taken these nuts. These are the same nuts. This, these I had machined into castellated nuts. These are the ones I drilled the hole sideways in. You can see there's one hole here and there's one hole here. And the goal is to run some safety wire through it and pull the nut this way. So we're putting, it, we're putting pressure on it to be tightened, to wrap it around in an S, bring it around here, and then run it through these holes and pull this nut this way as well so it also is being tightened. So once we get the safety wire on there, the nuts won't be able to come loose and back off. So here's how we're going to do it. We're using 32 thousandths stainless steel wire. And we're just going to make twists. Pull this tight here. Get around so that I can get in just at the right spot. You notice that I'm not putting any tool on the wire where it's going to be used. It's not that critical. This is only going to be a fan, but in my days of being a helicopter repairman, this always had to be inspected. This work had to be inspected by a technical inspector, and if it found tool marks on your wire when you were done, then you failed your inspection. So the tool marks will always go way out here. I'll eventually snip this off, but no tool marks on the, on the wire here. These are a pair of safety wire pliers that I got, used to use way, way back in the day. And they're pretty cool. Snip them on here, lock them down, and then give this a yank, and it'll, I'll get some twists in it. Just like magic. So we're pretty good. Trim this off, throw that in the trash. Make a little pigtail here so we don't, nobody gets snagged or hurts themselves on it. Cut this around, being careful not to make any tool marks on it. And there we go. All done. So we got, we got the wire pulling this way, which is tightening this nut, turning it this way. And we got the wire pulling this nut this way, which is also tightening it this way. These two nuts won't be able to come loose and they'll be on there forever until, until somebody clips the safety wire off. We're here in the house. Fans installed, ready to go. It's been a pretty fun project. I've learned a lot. I did a couple of things I've never done before. Drilled through some stainless steel nuts, ordered some parts from England, ran the grinder in a real fine and detailed way. Uh, picked up a couple tools, which was nice. Got the, um, the new vise for the drill press, so I'm excited to try that out. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do for our next project. But in the meantime, here's the fan, ready to rock. rooted around in some stuff and I found this. I think it's going to make a great next project.
This is the first stage of a turbine. It's a, the first stage turbine of a turbine engine. It's no longer in use and it's a, considered a spare part at this point, so we're going to try to make something out of it. But um, it's very, you can't tell from the video, but it's very dense and very heavy. And it has kind of a, some special, special qualities. I'm sure it was a very expensive part. Check this out. So, looking forward to making something out of it. Should be pretty fun.